Hey, welcome back, friends. Hey, I know a lot of you are here for hitch information, and uh, one of those hitches I've reviewed in the past is the B&W Continuum. I had some really good things to say about it. It was on a 29-foot uh, trailer, and it performed very well. Well, I've got an update for you, and unfortunately, it's not a very good one. Hope you guys stick around. Okay, so those of you that have watched our, my videos before, please bear with me as I kind of go through a little bit of backstory. This may be someone's first time watching a video, so let me catch them up a little bit. Uh, we've reviewed 11 weight distribution hitches, mainly on travel trailers. And uh, I think the continuum was number 10. I think it was number 10. And uh, yeah, when I first reviewed it, you can check that video out right here. I performed very well. I was very happy with it. I even took it out uh, once upon a time in 40 mile an hour winds and it performed well. Well, fast forward, uh, we're in a prototype program with Grand Design RV. They sent us a larger trailer. So we went from a 29 foot trailer, almost 30 foot trailer, to an almost 35 foot trailer. And yeah, when we went before Thanksgiving in 2023, the continuum really struggled. And I was, uh, I, I, assumed, I assumed I'd set it up right. I'd set it up correctly in the first trailer. It's very simple, actually, to set up. And um, so, yeah, it just didn't perform very well. When I was on the interstate, when I'd get over about 55 miles an hour, usually my sweet spot for towing is 63 miles an hour. I don't know why. That's just usually a sweet spot for my particular truck. And uh, I think a lot of people will, will also mirror that, that thought. But I get about 55 miles an hour, and... You just wasn't comfortable. What I call floaty, where the back end of the truck, even with this three-quarter ton, just starts to float around a little bit. And I don't like it. It's not what it's supposed to feel like. Some people might be okay with it. I think that's why you get a lot of uh, uh, folks saying that this toes just fine, even when, in my opinion, it probably wouldn't. But, yeah, the back end was floaty, and I didn't like it. It's not how what I was used to. The better performing hitches on my list, you don't experience that. So I hopped out after several miles, probably about 40 miles, and we were at a gas station. I tried to make some adjustments. It's very easy to adjust. I, I, one thing I love about this hitch is the ease of adjustment. It's literally a couple of pumps or either that or you relieve some pressure. And um, you're seeing some B-roll of how this thing works. But uh, yeah, just just would not dial in. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. And that's what we're gonna go over right now. Okay, I think the very, the first reason and the biggest reason that the B&W failed on this larger trailer may not have to do with its size, actually. I think it has to do with the fact that the new trailer, the trailer that this did not perform well on, has a rear bedroom slide or a rear slide at all. So a little extra weight towards the back. Uh, that also means if you look at these numbers here, you can see that the percentage of its hitch weight was a little bit lower than it was on the 25 dBE. We had the 25 dBE uh, back in the summer when I first tested this, this hitch. It Again, like I said, it performed well with that trailer. When we moved to the 2920 BS, it performed terribly. I mean, I, I, I don't even say it was not good. It was really bad. And so I'm not so sure we might not have been better off with the no hitch. And uh, I hate to say that because I think BMW's been great to deal with. They've been nice to me. Um, they obviously sent me a hitch, and they, this is a quality. The quality here is very good, but it just didn't do well. And I think the biggest reason is that weight in the back of the 2920 BS. I do think units with rear slides are probably going to tow, um, not, not quite as tow quite as well as units with heavier hitch weight. Another reason is obviously you've got more sidewall with the 2920 BS. You've got uh, nearly five more feet of sidewall. You've got a little bit more height as far as that's concerned. So that, that, you know, that more height, even though it's a few inches, it's all the way down the, 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 uh, the sidewall. So that's several more square feet of sidewall that a truck, you know, a semi truck's gonna push you or pull you. And um, I think that has a lot to do with it as well. So between having a rear slide and more sidewall, I think that has, that makes the biggest difference. But let's talk about one more thing. All right, friends, I had to bring you out here to the trailer to show you uh, another reason why I think the B&W did not do well, specifically on this larger trailer, you can say it's a little bit taller. Uh, we've already talked about that. It's longer, et cetera, et cetera. And I think a reason it struggled is because of where it mounts to the frame. So you can see here, you can see a little surface rust right here and here, where that yoke had attached to the frame. And you can also see my waist safe brackets 
Uh, yes, I did. It, I came home, I put it on the way safe, and it solved it. It solved all my problems. It was like it was on train tracks again. But you can see the difference in width. So you're looking at here are those brackets for the way safe, and then here's the width of the B&W. So you can imagine when you're thinking about resisting sway from the ball, it's a lot, I mean, a lot easier when you've got a wider stance to resist sway than when you have a narrower stance. That's just my assumption. I'm just a hillbilly from Georgia. Take it for what it's worth. All I'm doing is sharing my experiences. But I think that has a lot to do with why the B&W just struggled on this particular trailer. Uh, again, I strapped on the way safe when I got home and uh, it solved all of my problems. Put another couple hundred miles on it. It was like his own train tracks. So yeah, I mean, does this particular trailer maybe not tow as well because of a rear bedroom slide? Possibly, but uh, obviously with the BMW it didn't do as well, but the Wayseafe did fix it. So it's not like I was, uh, you know, loaded incorrectly or anything like that. Uh, the Wayseafe fixed it. Yeah, not much else to say. All right, friends, there you go. Just a quick update. You know, I really don't like to do these type of updates. Uh, I don't like to do negative videos in general, especially with a company like BMW. I would love to for them to send me stuff and test. Uh, you know, they're probably not going to do that now, but that's okay. My loyalty is to you guys. And so, uh, yeah, just sharing my experiences. I know a lot of people have reached out and they've really enjoyed their BMW hitch. So, yeah, this is just part of uh, your research. This is just a tool for, you know, this channel hopefully is a tool for you to gather research and then form your own opinions. And in this particular experience, the BMW did not do well with a larger trailer. So anyway, just an update for you guys. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, we have broken the 75,000 subscriber mark. Thank you so much. I'm going to continue to thank you guys all of 2024. That is my goal. So thank you. Hope you guys are being safe. See you.